I learned about Battlefest from this young man named Storyboard Professor. This image of Storyboard Professor is my first contact with the flex scene. This image is also the first story that I shot for the Village Voice after meeting the editor at ICP's career day. <laughs> it's also, I realized this week when really thinking about it, the first professional um, story I shot for a publication after moving from California to New York to study photography and start a career. So it's kind of cool. <laughs> um, so I pitched this idea to uh, Stacy, the editor at the Village Voice then. It was Obama's 47th birthday celebration at St. Nick's Pub in Harlem. And it was just going to be a variety show type deal. There were poets, a rock band. And then Storyboard took the stage and left the stage and got on tables and on the floor and any surface that he could find. Um, after his performance, I followed him outside and asked him, asked him what he was doing, because it was clearly something different, something very distinct, something I'd never seen before. And Storyboard told me about the flex movement. He told me that he had just been crowned the king of the streets <laughs> in a competition called Battlefest. I, I then looked up Battlefest and several months later, went. And at that time, I think it was the fifth one that had ever happened. So Battlefest happens four times a year. There's three of them and then the King of the Streets competition. It's now been going on for many years. And over that time, I photographed them and began filming them and made a feature documentary called Flex is Kings. Um, but at that time, Storyboard was my, was my introduction, and he was the very first. I, I met the, the kind of like the pinnacle of the flex scene. Storyboard was young. He was younger than many of the dancers um, who were like the, the originators of flex. But he's triumphed today really as one of the best. Um, and he was not in Brooklyn. He, he was going out and finding other places to dance and share. Um, which is how I met him. I, I don't know that I would have come into contact with it otherwise because these aren't the guys that you see on the trains. Um, they're into their own thing. They battle each other. They lab in their basements and in parks and on the streets. And then they, they battle at Battlefest. And Battlefest is trying very hard now to get out there and they have a strong YouTube following. But at the time, it was very... Um, very insular. And so I showed up and I was the only outsider that they'd seen, which was awesome because they were really excited to have an outsider there. So it gave me um, a, a sort of access that, um, I don't know if it would have been harder later, but, but it, was, it was unique at the time. Um, my relationship with Storyboard um, continues till this day, but, but in different ways. You know, I asked him this week what he was doing there, because now that I know the scene so well, it strikes me as odd that he was there. And he said that he was looking, he, he had to look for anywhere to perform. And I think that this is, that, that's a twofold thing. Um, storyboard, unlike most of the flex dancers who have a lot of support from their parents, Storyboard has a very uh, contentious relationship with his father. Part of that might have to do with Storyboard himself being uh, an artiste. Um, he's, he's incredible, he's obsessive, he's super focused, and he is also um, diagnosed bipolar. So there's, there's a lot going on there. Um, there was a time when Storyboard called me every single day. Um, he slept at my house 
before. He's, he's been homeless. Um, and, and he was looking for any, any outlet. Um, and so was I at the time. Um, and I guess always we are. But, but really, like, I was, I was new in the city and looking for a route in and um, storyboard and flexing um, played that, that role for me. So that's, this is a tremendously significant image um, for myself and my relationship with a movement that's invigorating and, and also um, has meant a lot to my artistic creative life. Thank you.